So we marked for a LIFO1 impaction surgery here. So you can see the that's the planned osteotomy site on both the sides. And we've also done the dissection around the pyriform rim. We're going to be impacting the maxilla by three millimeters for this patient. So what you're seeing here is the underside of the upper jaw after we've down fractured it. We're doing a LIFO and impaction as I mentioned earlier, but we still need to down fracture. You can see this. I'm going to show you some anatomical structures. That's the anterior nasal spine. This is the entire attachment of the septum. The two sinus, we've cleared the, of the sinus membrane. And this is the nasal mucosa. We have the septum here. That's why this is one of the ways in which you can do a septoplasty. Not the preferred way when you have to do just the septoplasty. But if the patient needs septal work at the time of doing a jaw surgery, especially an upper jaw, then we can do the... Yeah, so you can see that. That's the septum, the entire septum, the cartilage in this part as well. We're going to be doing a septoplasty for this patient after that. This is the sinus, which you see about 60-70% on the part that's not moving down. This is the part that's moving down. I'm going to show you this. So this is how the jaw was, you see. And then you see inside the jaw now. And you will see that it's really free, which is how it should be if you fix the jaw into the new to side position so that it doesn't have any relapse and so that you can put by it. We also fabricated splints. So those splints will go between the two set of teeth here. And you can see we've done work on the lower jaw as well. So we're just about to fix this upper jaw in its new position. And you can see we've got the splint inside and that's the place we're gonna fix. Uh, this is just before we fix. We've also completed the septoplasty. I'm going to show you the septum now with some light. Maybe you can see that better. And that's the septum here. That's the cartilage in this part of the septum. That's the nasal mucosa. This is the pyriform rim on two sides. The anterior nasal spine that we've worked on. The infraorbital nerve that comes there. Another one on this side. All the teeth root, it's about seven, eight millimeters from the osteotomy cut. We're gonna be using four plates now. I uh, prefer four square, three-dimensional plates. We're gonna be using them with 16, two mm, six mm long screws, titanium. What you're seeing are here are four square shaped plates or three-dimensional plates we fix the upper jaw with. So that makes the upper jaw totally rigid. And these implants or the plates or screws are all made with titanium. So they shouldn't cause any problem for the patient. And they generally put there to stay. So you don't plan to remove them. This is the anterior nasal spine and the septum. Once the retractor is removed, it will just gently sit on the spine. 